I am super excited. Mark Lehner, Mark the Shark Lehner, has a new book coming out this month. I had an intuition. I I hadn't like looked up Mark Lehner in a while, and I just was thinking, hmm, wonder what he's up to. I just sometimes this happens. I'll get a, a tingling, and I'm like, you should look up and see what that person's up to. And it didn't totally surprise me that he has. Well, it surprised me because it's been like six years, but I was. It was a delightful surprise. Six years since his last book. This next one coming out, I think, January 19th, Last Orgy of the Divine Hermit. I'm super excited. There is no author, yeah, I would say there's no author that gets me more excited about a new book than Mark Lehner. He is, yeah, my, I'd say he's my favorite living author. I mean, Pynchon has done great books too, but I don't, I'm not as excited about, <laughs> about current Pynchon books. I mean, I'll, I'll read her pension books, but Mark Lehner, I just, um, I mean, his last two books I've loved as much as all his books. I haven't loved all his books, actually. His, his co-authored books, I'm not a huge fan of. And his first book, I Smell Esther, Esther Williams and Tooth and Prince on a Corn Dog. I would say those are my, my least favorite, but so many other great books uh, from his short story collection, My Cousin, My Gastroenterologist, to his novels, um, It Too Babe, uh, the Tether Balls of Bougainville, uh, The Sugar Frosted Nutsack, and Gone with the Mind, and now this one. I'm hoping this is, uh, it's like 288 pages, I, I think it says, Last Orgy of the Divine Hermit. He calls his books novels, but I think of them as memoirs that just have a very large, fantastic, internal fantasy element that, uh, and he's just so melded with the popular culture that, Reading a Mark Lehner book, like, right when it comes out is the best way to do it because it's so of the moment. You can read the old books, and they're great, too, but uh, just reading them as they come out. So this is your opportunity to read a Mark Lehner book fresh off the grill, and I'm super stoked by it. I, after reading his last one, Gone with the Mind, I was kind of worried that that might be... It just had this feeling of, like him saying goodbye to the world or to literature at least and I was afraid that that might be his last book and fortunately that is not the case. I always hope he'll do like a really like fat novel like at least 500 600 pages but for the most part he tends to write two to three hundred page books and this one is no exception about 288 pages. Unfortunately because of my current moment I'm I can't really acquire a physical copy of the book at this moment. I'm going to be flying soon and I'm moving and it just isn't allowed. But I have reserved through my library system, put on hold the audiobook. And I've listened to audiobooks of his other books too. And I think he's read them all. Yeah, he's, he usually reads them all. So I'm hoping he does with this, this one as well. And he reads... Actually, that may in some ways be the way to go. I don't know. Like... I like reading them. I like listening to them. I just, he's like poetry, really. And there are a few, like, authors that are so uh, poetic in this way that, like, kind of like Naked Lunch, you can just pick it up and read it anywhere and just loop around with it. Same with maybe, like, Finnegan's Wake, perhaps. Like, uh, that level of, like, eternal, uh, outside of time feeling that you have with the stories. And, yeah, if you've never read Mark Lehner, this is your opportunity. Um, I'll do a review on it once I've finished it. Maybe I may do it after I listen to the audiobook, or I may wait until I listen to it and then read it as well, the physical copy. We'll see. We'll see. But I will talk about it, I promise you, at some point in the future, probably in February, I'm guessing. Maybe sooner. Uh, it just depends on when I get it. Uh, but as soon as my hands are, my digital hands are on a copy, I'm going to be uh, checking it out. It's, um, I just, I, I allowed myself to read a little of the synopsis and I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And I backed away. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm really excited though. Like, uh, really excited. Really excited. Get yourself a copy too. Uh, Last Orgy of the Divine Hermit, January 19th, 2021. Be there. There are a few people that I can say I'm such a fan of, like, that I'll, I'll whole, wholeheartedly be a, a cheerleader for their, their efforts because uh, I just adore Mark Lehner's work. It's so great. And uh, if you haven't read it, uh, this may be 
I don't know. I hope it's. I always hope everything's the best. Like, and this is an, an amazing uh, book. So, don't prove me wrong, Mark. I know you're. I know you still got it in you. And um, yeah, his last two books I've loved. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs>